Earn one, UCA. I started writing in about uh, 1985, early 80s, you know, putting it down. Uh, I think I've been drawing since uh, every, ever since about maybe nine, ten years old. You know, art's always been a love for me, you know, and just trying to keep it, you know, tight, you know. Um, I was influenced at an early age because of art ran through my you know my family uh my parents could draw both my parents my mom and my dad um i always liked to draw so i stuck with it moved to california pretty much around 84 83 and i i noticed kids were writing like you know their names and stuff so i got into that you know i thought graffiti was just pretty much uh something that all the kids did so I got influenced off of graffiti at an early age, if you want to ask what was my influence. I started writing uh, Tony, that was my given nickname um, as a little kid, so that was like my first writing name. But Tony didn't last long after I saw like, you know, different things, how kids were putting their names together and making up their own words. So. I thought maybe I should ride with my homie Easy, and I wrote Easy E. You know that that didn't last too long, but you know it was one of the names that I wrote. Um, after that, you know I noticed a lot of kids just call me Earn, so Earn was the one, and then you know KRS came out, and I was just like one, you know, I just try to get one on there. Earn one, how'd that sound? Earn none. Yeah, nobody can be like me. Um, I would say in the early 80s, DTK, that was a pretty tight crew, like when you went to the tunnel and you saw what they were doing, you were like, damn, we gotta get like that, you know, but, you know, there's a lot of other crews that were, that were down, TWS, K2S, STN, LA Tag Team, LA Bomb Squad, you know, um, SMD, uh, WCA, UTI, you know, there's a lot of different crews. I even give big respect to, you know, new crews too, you know. Um, as far as being a piecer or a bomber, I would say as a kid, you know, you always have to start on the level of getting up and going from there and just seeing what, you know, you can take from that. And if you can do a piece, that's always good, you know, build, you know, try to make it go to the next level. I think uh, if I could describe myself, I would say, you know, in the beginning, like a bomber. Then I graduated to piecing, and you know, and from there, you know, I, I just consider myself as a writer because I could just do all the different levels and express myself that way. And then, you know, I think eventually, you know, you have to grow into something more than that. So I took it to art, and that's that's what I expect people to change, you know, and feel that graffiti is art, you know. So. I consider myself as an artist, a graffiti artist. Um, back to who I looked up or who were my influences. Um, you know, there's a lot of different writers out there. Chase, uh, Easy, R.I.P., Minus, you know, R.I.P. Um, I give it up to uh, Genius, Insane. Shout out to Creek, Era, Yo, and Image. I used to uh, trip on Triax. That was like a crazy name back in the day, too. Maniac, you know, Peace. Gray. 